Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation with base 10 log. Uh, this could be considered a homemade equation because I think I came up with the idea. I haven't taken this from any of the books, the internet, or any other place. But if you see the same problem somewhere else, please let me know because I'm curious. Anyways, this is 10 to the power log x squared equals x. Notice that x is not squared but log x is squared. So you're going to find the log x first and then square the answer. And then 10 to the power of that, that should equal x. Now as is, this equation might look a little scary, especially if you don't know logs. But don't worry about it. If you know the definition of logs, as actually you've done 50%. Um, okay, and definition is fairly easy. I'll be presenting three methods, even though some of these you might find similar because obviously we're doing the same problem. They can't be entirely different, right? So let's start with the first method. We've been doing that for a while. So my first method is going to use my favorite method, one of my favorite methods, but my most favorite, favoritest method, substitution, right? You probably know that uh, if you've been watching the videos for a, long, for a while. If you haven't been watching the videos for a while, then start watching, please. Log x equals t. T is a good variable, by the way. Uh, here the base is 10. It's not written or hidden. Uh, but this means 10 to the power t equals x. Or x equals 10 to the power t. That's how logs work. This is the only thing you need to know, pretty much. Now, if x is equal to 10 to the power t and log x is equal to t, if you square log x, you're going to get what? t squared, right? If you square both sides, basically. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, substitute. 10 to the power t squared equals x, which is 10 to the power t. Wow, amazing. This turned into an exponential equation. Yes, you should know how to solve this, right? Exponential equations are super important. And you'll find pl plenty of them on my channel because that's one of my favorite topics again. t squared equals t. That's the conclusion that follows. Since we don't have any 1 or negative 1 in the base, uh, the exponents have to be equal. Make sense? From here, we can solve this equation by factoring, take out t, and you get two results. t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1. Awesome. But what is t? t is a dummy variable. All the variables are dummy, by the way. But t is equal to log x. So, set it equal to log x. Again, by using definition, put a 10 here. 10 to the power 0 is x, or x is equal to 10 to the power 0, or x is 1. Think about this, log something equals 0, the answer is always 1. Any base, any base, log 1 is 0. Make sense? Set this equal to log x again, put a 10 here. It doesn't matter which direction you're going, you can still do it. 10 to the power 1 is going to give you the answer, and that's 10. So we got two solutions, x equals 1, and x equals 10. And guess what? Both solutions are valid. And if you don't believe that, you can check it out. Let's do it real quick. And we don't have to do it three times. Did I say I'm going to present three methods? Oh, that's crazy. Anyways, if x is 1, 10 to the power log 1 squared. Log 1 is 0, 10 to the power 0 squared is 10 to the power 0. That's equal to 1. But that's equal to x because x is equal to 1. You see how we check it? Okay. And then now replace x with 10. 10 to the power log 10 squared is log 10 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So 10 to the power 1 is equal to 10. But that's equal to x because x is equal to 10. That's what we were checking, right? So both solutions check, which means they are valid. Good. We didn't do anything crazy, so they should be valid. But it's always good to check, right? Especially if you have extra time. If your teacher is mean and gives you very little time on the test, shame on them. Sorry. Second method. <laughs> Don't tell them this. Okay. So second method uh, looks like the following. I have 10 to the power log x squared equals x. Okay. Here's the second method. I'm going to log both sides. What do you think? When you have logs, you should log both sides. No, that's not always true. But if you have a variable in the exponent, almost always log both sides. And which log should we use? I'm going to use base 10 because it makes sense, right? I mean, come on. What else could you use? So let's go ahead and use these. I mean, you don't have to put them in parentheses just to make it a little easier to read. Now, log rules or logs rule. We can move this to the front. Log x squared. 
times log 10, but log 10 is 1. Come on, you don't need to write it. This is equal to log x. Wow, what is that supposed to mean? You can use substitution again, but come on, you don't need to. You can just do it, pretend that you're not using it. And then this can be factored, log x, take out, log x minus 1 equals 0. Set this equal to 0, you get x equals 1. Set this equal to 0, you get log x equals 1. And which means, or that means, x equals 10. Again, we got the same solutions. Wait a minute, were you expecting different results? Oh, come on, there's no way, right? We're supposed to get the same answer. By the way, if you solve a problem in more than one way, two or more, and you get different answers every time, then there's something wrong with one of your methods. Good luck finding it. Uh, that's why it's sometimes good to check your work because that'll also verify your findings. All right, so I mean, for basic problems, you don't have to, but hey, we all make careless mistakes. You've probably seen uh, most of my, no, not most of my, but I think a good number of videos in which I made mistakes. Even like got the wrong answer. And thank you for letting me know because slip up and uh, you should always let me know. I appreciate that. Okay, so this brings us to the beginning of the third method and the end of second method. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method. The third method, by the way, uh, I don't know if you can find a fourth way to do it. Probably you could, uh, but anyways, and let me know please if you do because I always want to hear more options. Oh, by the way, speaking of alternative methods, like do you remember the problem from, I think it was yesterday, right? ln x to the power something. I can't remember the problem. I forgot my own problem. Anyways, it's. I think it was x to the power ln x equals x minus one to the power ln x minus one. Yeah, exactly. So you can, uh, a lot of people, uh, quite a few people recommended that I, uh, LNing both sides is a good idea, and I totally agree. That, that was such a nice method that I overlooked. Anyways, so here's the super duper cool uh, log formula. They don't always give you this, but this is a really nice formula. If you have a to the power log b, what with base a, so if these two bases are the same, this is the answer. Isn't that nice? Like they just psh, cancel out. Cool, cool. So here's how I'm going to use it. Hocus pocus abracadabra. We'll do some mathematic. Ready? So we're going to write this as 10 to the power log x times log x because that's what it means, right? Oh, come on. You knew that, right? And then by using properties of exponents, because when exponents are multiplied, this is what we have, right? a to the power x to the power y is a to the power xy or vice versa. So take a look at this. This is 10 to the power log x with base 10. Awesome. I got the same base. Yeah, so this should be x, the whole thing. It collapses, so I got x to the power log x. But what's so special about it? Oh, come on, this is equal to, what was this equal to? x, yay. Okay, so what does that mean? It just means that forget about this and look at this equality. Well, this is x to the power 1, so from here it immediately follows that log x is 1 and x is equal to 10. But where does the 1 come from? <laughs> Duh, 1 to the power anything is 1. So from here, x equals 1 quickly, automatically, mathematically follows. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.